What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to talk about Jaden Smith. He has a lot of album covers or single covers as well as Instagram pictures where he does that purple sky look and you guys requested it a lot. So I took a look at it and I found out how to create this look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. And I will explain this look to you and I've also created a preset of exactly this look. If you don't want to follow along to the whole tutorial, this preset is on my website. It's in the all presets pack. The link is under this video. Go check it out along with the Travis Scott preset, ASAP Rocky preset, Gunner Stall preset, you name it. And also if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And check me out on Instagram at Stephen Womack. It's always a good way to keep in touch, communicate with me, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you have some requests, I'm always open for that on Instagram or also in the comments under this video. Now I've said enough, the first thing you will need is your smartphone, of course, and then I want you to open up that Lightroom app right here. Now I've chosen a picture of Lucas Sabat. Um, he's in a scenery that looks kind of like the Hollywood Hills, so that's pretty good for this particular look. And the first thing you want to do is hit the lights tab down here and then you want to go to the curve on the upper right. And I want you to create this curve or copy it exactly as it is right here. So just pull up the shadows a little bit, pull down the highlights quite a bit, and then in between create that slight S curve with the two spots. And once you have this copy as it is right here, we're done. And we want to take a look at the other lighting settings. Now for the highlights, you might want to pull them down a little bit to around negative 28 right there. The shadows, we want to boost them up to around plus 35. The whites, we want to pull down all the way to negative 45. And the blacks, we want to pull down all the way to negative 32 right here. So that's it for the lighting. We go over to the color settings. And what you want to do here is just boost up the temperature a little bit to around plus 8 and the tint we want to boost that all the way up to plus 56 and now you already see a little bit of that purple tone but we're gonna get the look way better in a little bit so for the vibrance we want to boost that up a little bit to around plus 29 and the saturation we want to pull that down all the way to negative 35 right here so we're done here scroll up hit the color mix tab and for the red tones you just want to pull down the hue a little bit to around negative four and we go over to the orange tones what you want to do here is pull down the hue all the way to negative 51 and the saturation up to plus 42 right here over to the yellow tones and the hue you want to pull down almost all the way to negative 92 right there. And then we want to boost up the saturation to plus 49. And the luminance we're gonna leave at zero. And we go over to the green tones. What you wanna do is pull down the hue all the way to negative 100 and boost the saturation to plus 69 or 70 right there and then we want to as well leave the luminance at zero so we go over to the aqua tones boost the hue all the way to plus 100 the saturation boost that up to plus 38 and the luminance we also want to boost that up all the way to plus 52 right here go over to the blue tones and boost the hue all the way up plus 100 now you can see that sky getting purple the blue tones in the picture are turning purple this is what we want and we just want to pull down the saturation a little bit in this case to around negative 13 and the luminance we want to boost that all the way up in this picture to plus 100 just to not over exaggerate the look too much and we're good here we go to the purple tones and we boost the saturation a little bit to around plus 49 and the pink tone same thing saturation to plus 49 right there and we're good we're done here we go over to the effects tab 
And here we just want to pull down the texture a little bit to negative 26. The clarity, we want to pull that down to negative 14. Dehaze, we want to boost that up to plus 26 right there. And then we scroll down to the gray. And just to get that vintage effect a little better, we just want to pull the gray into 13. We're done here. Go on top, hit the split toning tab right there. And for the highlights, we're gonna pull the hue over to a hue of 200 and 200 and let's say 84 and a saturation of 29. So it's 281, 29, just to get that pink tone, purple tone into the highlights. You can see um, the concrete floor right there. I'm just turning pink as well. And then for the shadows, we want to take the shadows to a hue of around 104, that green area, and a saturation of 22 right there. So it's 107 and 22, just to get the look a little back to natural and the balance. Just want to pull that towards the shadows to negative 11 right here, and we're done. The colors are perfect. Uh, in my opinion right here and we just go over to the detail section and just do some noise reduction to about I think 20 is good and color noise reduction to about 20 29 is perfect just to smooth it out the picture a little bit and we are done here this is the look here's a before and after and I think we really nailed this Jaden Smith uh, inspired look we got the pink in the highlights, we got the pink in the sky. It really overall just looks super cool and artistic. As I said in the beginning, I've created a preset on exactly this Jaden Smith look. It's in my all presets pack on my website. Check it out. The link is under this video. There are many more presets. Travis Scott, Gunnar Stahl, ASAP Rocky, you name it. Go check it out for sure. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And if you need anything from me, if there's any, anything I can take a look at for you, just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack, or also just comment under this video. So happy to hear from you. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.